Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a video showing you how I am using the book and the fairy stuff that I got from Barnes & Noble. So this is the card making and pep paper craft number issue 182 um, from May and it came with this set of stamps and this die that cuts two different um, fairy wings, a mushroom, and this little flower. You can see I've cut a pile of wings and mushrooms and flowers. And I have my little stamp set here. So this book gives you ideas on how to use your special stamp. I always joke and say, I bought the stamps, I got the magazine. Um, so, and I will also be able to cut up and use this packaging in, um, in my paper crafting. So I also have out my digital kit, um, because we are going to turn our little girl into a fairy. And, um, so this is the fairy digital kit that is in my Etsy shop, Dear Julie Julie. So uh, one of the things I wanted to do is I have this great paper pad called Nature Collection from Hobby Lobby. It is uh, Jody Lee Designs for Prima. And um, I thought, okay, so this has some fairy images in the, in the book, but there's some places... Like, see, here's a fairy in image here. Here's some fairies. But some of the pages don't have, like, this page doesn't, <laughs> excuse me, oh, uh... <laughs> excuse me, doesn't actually have a fairy. You can see up here we have a rose that is kind of in a brown color. Now, the thing about this is, um, for me, is that, my only ink that I have that really goes with this is probably this brown. And I'm going to go ahead and do an image, and this will be in, um, probably if, if it works, it will be in my next fairy kit. But I wanted, to sh I wanted to play with this a little bit. So I have the Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo that I'm going to go ahead and use. And let's try her right above this flower. And again, remember, because this rose is brown, that's why I think this will work. Okay, so there she is. And might as well do them all while we're doing it, right? So there, we stamped um, that. Now I'm going to take her off, put her aside for right now, and I'm going to grab her wing, and um, I did not do the wing and the little girl at the same time because they end up with a space in between, and it just doesn't look quite right. So now I'm looking at this and if I just put it on her, well, let's look in the book and see how they did her. That's why you have the book, right? Okay, so there's the sitting one and they just put it up against her. And the flying one, they just put it up against her and it looks fine. Okay. It's like, I should have, I changed my mind of what I was doing after I started. You could, if you want the wing to be in closer to her, you can go ahead and block her and, um, and then put the wing so that it's coming in. I'll show you how, how you would do that. I'm just going to use 
this. Okay. The thing is my finger. Okay. So there. And this probably should have been regular. A regular stamp pad. Okay. Now, because this is so much darker than this, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this dragonfly. Maybe. I'm going to try and do this dragonfly. There's also um, a foxglove flower that would probably even be better. So this is how you can um, decorate your paper to, to match your theme. So you can take a paper that doesn't okay and then come over and let's see I'm gonna do it like this okay so there we've just added a couple of items and I like it. So, there we go. Okay, so what inspired that was this page has the little fairies and then they're colored in. So you could go ahead and let's see which one is the, this is the one that I'm probably going to end up putting in my daughter's book because of a little bit of separation there. So you can come back in and color. You know how I love to color. Not. Um, just color in a little if you wanted to and you could put some glitter on the wings and um, so look at her little pointy shoes <laughs> Very cute. Okay. So there we have stamped and decorated some fairy paper. And so continuing to use this um, set, you could also add some of the words. We have fairy wish wishes sprinkled with love. Um, have a magical day. Have a fairy happy birthday. So, um, so you could go ahead and do that. We have um, this one here. Let me find it. That we added the fairy very lightly with uh, tea dye onto another page. And so that's kind of fun. Now another really simple thing to do with the little dyes would be to take your Tim Holtz people, okay, and take one of these, this little girl sitting here, I guess, and you can go ahead and give her some wings. So using the, the fairy wings, 
there's two different ones. So give her those or the smaller wings. Naturally, I can't find the smaller wings when I'm looking. Yeah, these look look better. Okay, so just give her some wings. Um, the other thing you can do is I had a butterfly. Naturally, oh here it is. You can put some butterfly butterfly wings behind her, and she could be a little fairy. Okay, so so that is using the Tim Holtz people. Now, of course, I love glitter, and um, there is a stamp. So you could stamp the wings, emboss it, and then um, cut it with your your die cut machine. Oh, fell out of the he fell out of the people. Um, or you can just take some glue, glitter glue or fingernail polish. I do the fingernail polish because it dries faster. Okay, so just adding a little bit to the little bit of fingernail polish. To the wings and these this paper um, I call it's the noisy paper that I use it is a interesting weight of like tissue paper but it has that awesome crinkly sound when you are paging through a book so what we're gonna do next is we're going to cut out and use this little girl image this is, like I said, it's from my um, digital kit in my, available in my Etsy shop, Dear Julie Julie, and it is part of the fairy kit. These are antique postcards out of my collection, and um, they are exactly as they are. So if there's a blemish, a tear, a rip, you're going to see it on here. And you know, and I'm I'm okay with that. I hope you are. Um, that's how I chose to do these. This set of um, of digitals, and I'm using my cutter that leaves a rough edge. Lately, <laughs> it's been leaving. Lately, it's been leaving a rough edge. So it will look tattered, which I kind of, I actually really like. Okay. It really actually looks like the, the original postcard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to add these wings to this little girl. Okay. Because remember when I um, debuted this um, this digital set, I said we could turn her into a fairy. So um, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I am going to cut around her. I cut down and around her and okay so I'm making an opening you see this making an opening and then I'm gonna take the wings and put them in the opening to where I think it would look like she has wings. 
Okay, so that's one side. Then I'm going to come to this other side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut around her sleeve, cut under her arm. I'm going to go ahead and go through the ribbon just, you know, as a choice this time. So I think I've gotten all the way around her, her dress. Okay. So then I have the other side that I can bring and separate and put it inside. Okay, so there we have our little girl and now she looks like a fairy and we want to attach her wings so we're going to use some clear glue. We don't need a lot, and I like that they, um, I like that they are up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. And, oh, <laughs> naturally, this side came out. And a little bit of glue on this side. And there you have her. Okay. So that was my, my image in my head. And I didn't have wings yet. <laughs> didn't have wings. Um, I just picked up wings yesterday. So I'm going to be putting a couple of sets of wings in each of the kits that are still out on the kitchen table. They are just about ready to ship. Um, but I was still adding, still adding things. So um, that is our little fairy postcard. And I think she's absolutely adorable. And um, let's see. So we do have, I don't know if you have, I have a gold stamp pad by Yasumoto, Yasutomo and Company. And um, so let's go ahead and clean it. my stamp huh. okay and again you could do this with uh, butterfly wings and put them in there if you don't have fairy wings uh, that will totally totally work I I, to I believe I totally believe that will totally work okay so um, let's see I think we'll do fairy wishes. This also would make a really cute greeting card. You just make this front and then um, well, that's interesting. The words are like all sprinkled with love. They're all stuck together. Okay. The first three sets of words on my thing here are stuck together, so I'm going to have to cut them apart because I don't want it to say sprinkled with love, fairy wishes, may all your dreams come true. Yeah, actually, you could. It will go here. It could have all the words, but I just want fairy wishes. Where's my, where are my cut everything scissors? There they are. Because this isn't everything. Right? Okay. Fairy wishes in gold. 
And let's stamp on something first. Oh, pretty. Oh, you can barely see it, but that's okay. It actually looks like the original card. So another thing that you could do with your fairy wishes, though, is stamp it on a ticket. There are tickets, and most of my kits come with some kind of tickets. So you get some fairy wishes. <laughs> okay, so that is my video for today. Um, this is part of the amazing A-H-H-H -H -H Make It Junk Journal Challenge. And you can find the uh, details for the amazing Make It Junk Journal Challenge in the directions or in the description box below. Um, check that out and join us. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's it goes on through July 10th. You have till 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 July 10th to make your journal, and um, stay tuned. I have a video coming up explaining the addition of two categories. One is a category that is using any of my kits, um, dear Julie, Julie. So you can use one of the physical kits if you've purchased one, or one of my digital kits. And that gets that's a separate entry. So, um, so you can if you enter one in that category, then you can also enter a second one in one of the other categories. There are prizes, and it's all explained in the uh, amazing Make It Junk Journal Challenge details video in the description box below. And. Uh, so I hope you'll think about joining us and make a junk journal. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Bye.